Oh, top five. Yeah! No ecstasy, promethazine, no lean, no purple mess. No dirty sprite, but bitch, I got that Kyrie Irving step. If you don't think that I'm the shit, it's just cause you ain't heard me yet. Alright y'all, what's up man? Alright, we just got through watching another part two of this Kick Genius Top 25 Basketball YouTubers. Um, if you haven't watched that part of it, go watch mine and yeah. I said in the video that I don't know the, uh, I didn't know the 10 through 6 on there. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I know any of these, but I thought I thought I picked out like three, three of the top five that should be in here. Um... I'm pretty sure that it's pretty sure they've been here. Um, also, remember, I'm about to start some streaming, uh, live streaming stuff, just so uh, we can get more interactive. Uh, I'm look, I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm getting everything set up, so yeah, we gonna uh, get that going. Um, let's see, uh, this list. I think I've said it a couple times that if I had enough subscribers, pretty sure I'd be on this list. And this. That ain't me like boasting or doing anything like that. I'm just saying, I think I could beat over half of the guys that's on this list, and that, that that's just that's my truth. That's my truth, man. If y'all if y'all don't don't think so, go watch some of my Aria videos. I got quite a few of them on there on my channel. Y'all go and check them out. Um, yeah, and like I said, bro, it, I wait my turn. Wait my turn. You know what I'm saying? Wait my turn. I'll get there. And then you won't, you can't really deny it. It's just a list. It ain't like it really matters anyway. Now, let's talk top five. <laughs> it's real interesting. Coming in at the number five spot, we have the Notorious, YG West. Now, YG West, three-time SneakerCon champ. Just like his brother, he will, he is a hustler. He will give his all every Oh, that's the brother to the... Uh, now, I don't want to come off college. six three kid, not, six two kid. Allow me to help you guys for a quick second. Despite YG scoring 20... 25 or even 31 game the reason he still comes in at number five is because of how those points are accumulated if you actually play with yg or just look at some of the footage that's out there you'll see that when he scores he's either coming off one screen two screens or sometimes even three and, and there's nothing wrong with that what you guys have to understand though huh. is when we're playing okay. with youtubers these guys is they're YouTube. they they create content they're, they don't know how to switch they don't know how to hedge and recover that's not in their repertoire they don't have to know that but when you have somebody like yg who sees that and takes advantage which again i can't blame him for that but as a viewer and especially somebody who is going to judge i, I see what you're saying right there difference. it's imperative that you know the difference because on I the flip side when saying. you actually play against people who every position is filled with somebody who can defend who has defensive iq and a big man switches on you who can actually slide his feet, and now you need some sauce to get by and create your own shot, those freebies are no longer there for YG. There's, there's just no sauce in his back. He went through the drive-thru and they forgot to give him barbecue. Checking the bag, there's no ranch. You know what I'm saying? Like, no hate, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> YouTube game, yeah. All fine and dead, all no day. Hate. Again, don't get it twisted again, because like you, you it's if, YouTubers. even if you open, you have to, you gotta hit the open shot. YG's knocking them down. He's no slouch. Those games are so far. But again, y'all, I, I do see what he's saying. There, there, there is a difference between people who do YouTube and play basketball, and people who play basketball do YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like uh, what Zia them say. <laughs> it's the difference between YouTube Nick and things on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's all. That's all. That's all he's saying. That's all he's if saying. If I saw YG score 12 points, all off open shots. And I saw another guard score half as much, but he created each and every one of his shots. Guess who I'm taking on the road with me? Guess who I'm taking to the Drew League? A nigga that can create his own shot. Where there's no slouches. Nobody to really take advantage of. Unless you're really that just good. See what I'm saying? Like, it's, you, you just got to realize, it's not all about stats. I know you guys see the points from the sneaker con games, but... Well, Again, we are talking, this is this is YouTube. You gotta see past that type of stuff sometimes. Number four, I'm rolling with hoop in life. I haven't seen too many videos, but from what I have seen, he hoops. And that's really all that needs to be said. The only difference between hoop in life and YG is the fact that hoop in life can create his own shot. And that's very important when we're talking about 
a five on five situation where everybody on the court is going to be able to play defense on an individual basis and a team basis. So we're hooping. Like I said, this his top ten. He he's got a bunch of unknowns to me. Like some y'all probably know him, and y'all probably been watching him for a while. But they're I'm unknowns like to me. You know what I'm saying? He gets past his defender. Say, big man comes up in the middle. Euro. Hooping life has that in his repertoire. Boom. Drive past defender. Again, big comes up the block. Body. Finish. I've seen hooping life do it. It's not just coming off a screen, open shot, boom. Which that's fine too. You need that. But who has more than that? These guys I'm naming now. Number three. J motherfucking Jones. Now, I'm not going to sit here and brag about my brother because it would seem biased. <laughs> but anybody who I've named on this list so far who wants to check up for real, I got five racks on J. Cash, PayPal, whatever. Serious inquiries only. Coming in at number two. Serious. LSK. Now, I want to start off by saying I'm not one of those guys who rank somebody solely based off height. So he ain't going to yes, train LSK and put his, uh, and yes, that height is put himself help. in the list. But if you're not using that height in the most effective way possible, down in the post, then what's the point of even arguing that point? And that's not a knock to LSK. That's a knock to whoever I heard put LSK at number one because he's 6'10 and he'll be able to bully anybody he plays based off his height. But LSK doesn't post up though. He 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 will. Hey, when I played with him, uh, I uh, I'm saying I wasn't trying to like show out, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I could have done more. Like I was trying to hold back, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I could have done more. I could have took more shots. I could have could have took some longer shots. Could have really showed show what I what I was capable of. But I but I held back, man. It, it, it's, it, I guess it was kind of out of respect for no cash and LSK. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I uh I held back so. And I wanted to, I wanted to kind of play with them and watch how they, watch how they play. You know what I'm saying? And and kind of, I, I saw some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I saw some stuff, which no disrespect to them, but I'll tell you, he's not gonna post. I, I don't know if you guys pay attention, but he said multiple times yeah. that he has some type of head injury. That if he, if if it gets too physical, the health consequences can be severe. I played I with some guys. Exact situation, but he has a reason for at my gym. Being physical. That, and in saying that. Yeah. The hype thing, it's, it's, like I said, it's going to help, but not by that much. Not if all you're going to do is shoot. Yes, if you let LSK shoot, he will burn that bitch. <laughs> don't let him shoot. But yeah, I, I honestly, I don't want to stay on this too long because I don't want to speak negatively about LSK. I will say, and, and, and let me preface this because any, I know anything I say that's not overly Oof. optimistic is going gonna, is gonna to trace take. Before he even gets to number one, if he's not going to put himself in this list, Who is he going to put as number one? Dranio is the dude I was trying. Dranio is the dude I was trying to say in the uh, in the part two video at the end. If y'all go watch that, I was trying to figure out who this dude that I saw. Dranio. I think Dranio should be on this list. Honestly. I should. I think Dranio should be on this list. Taking shots at LSK. It's not the case. It will never be the case. Top 10. Let me preface sure. this statement I'm about to make with a couple of points. LSK. All right. But who's number person, one on here? Good ball player. I will consider a good friend he's of mine. Gonna, the conversation. He's going to say so Illuminati. Great, uh, he's one of the. I think. He's one of the few YouTubers who can actually articulate themselves, which is really weird. There's a lot of YouTubers who can't properly articulate themselves. LSK, probably the baddest on YouTube. LSK, I ain't been looking. I, but let's be real, kudos. LSK has some of the most premium brand. He He's been getting looking. to the bag. I could go on for days, but if we're talking about on court from what I've seen with my own two eyes you can tell LSK he's 6'10 but he was one of those guys who was really tall who seems like he didn't want to play basketball but he was forced to I haven't talked to him about it but I, I can I can that's what I he said in his that. video I think any any experienced ball player can see that that's it's what he says in on his videos like that. does that mean he's not good no it doesn't he can still beat everybody I've named so far he's gifted he has a height that only 0.5% of the whole earth has. but the difference between number two and number one the number one spot is reserved for somebody who can like go. And when I say go, I, I'm no longer talking about what you've seen necessarily. You can't see this because there's no footage. We're talking YouTubers. In my mind, I'm thinking about who will survive 
in a real game, a real competitive game, who will survive? Who are you finna put There's down? There's an answer so. for LSK. There's not an answer for the number one spot. The number one spot, if, if, if they're having a good day, wrap it up. Just just wrap it up. They're more who in the competition I, I don't with know. themselves than they are their actual. <laughs> who, who is number one? Like, come on, come on. So without further ado, the number one spot goes to Soul Illuminati. 10,000 hours. Oh. B dot. More than one. Myself. Now, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Chaos. I, like I, know. I know. I like I know. it. I like it. Look, you have to realize that there's there's some. This list is tricky because there is nothing we can use to distinguish this tier. There is nothing. Even if all four of these individuals play one on one, let's say Soul Illuminati beats all of us, still don't care. Let's say B Dot beats all of us. One on one. Still don't care. Because when you get to this level, one on one does not define how great you are in the game of basketball. Oh, that is a relic. Yeah. The game of basketball is so much bigger. I guarantee you, if, if us four played one on one all day, there's not one definite person that would win every time. That's how close it is. Soul is going to win. Let's get that king of the court going. going to win some games. B Dot. I'm gonna win some games. Every person in this, every person in this tier, this number one spot, has their strengths. So Luminati, he's six six, and, and, and like I said, like I, I get why you guys hate on the guy. I don't know him personally, but like I keep let's preaching, get the, it doesn't take much. The court going going between y'all. It takes a couple of dribbles. I can see the way your body stretches out when you do a layup. I, I can, it, it's it's easy. I didn't even need the IRL footage that he he put on his channel. I remember seeing a, a low quality video, and I just saw how he drove baseline, like it was easy. I knew right then that he was better than, again, these are my niggas, but LSK, I, I, I knew it. I know people may not like his personality. I'm not here to judge that. I'm being objective about his basketball uh. skill set. I haven't seen much, but like I said, I can tell he can hoop. He's 6'6". Six, six. That's, that's a great size. He looks like he can shoot. B-Dot, I play with B-Dot. B-Dot can really go. If you want me to be honest, if we all four play right now, B Dot may be the most productive in a five on five situation amongst all of us. He might edge out all of us right now, but that's because, and again, back to being a basketball YouTuber, B Dot has more time to invest in basketball. He's still playing yeah. full court games very consistently. He doesn't make long form content, which when I say long form, just in regards to social media. He mainly makes Instagram videos. He does have an active YouTube channel, but most of his YouTube content is an extension of his Instagram material. So there's not much time invested yeah. in his content, which he has more time to dedicate to basketball. What I'm getting at is the common denominator is everybody in that number one spot. Their potential is, is really high. If every one of these four guys was to dedicate four hours a day, to getting better at the game of basketball. I'm not saying we got league ready guys, but there's a clear separation from these guys in the rest of the list. Devin Williams, I don't want to forget about him. This this guy, trust me, I, I've trained with him a couple times. He can go. Only thing holding him back, which I, I had this, I had this problem too. <coughs> the knees. Rose, take care of yourself, man. It's a lot of talented people that that injury will just take out. But I would love to see a healthy Devin Williams. That that that's scary. That's a scary sight. And I'm not gonna sit here and say nothing about myself. Plenty of, uh, plenty of other people are talking. Let them talk. All I ask is just recognize your sources. So with that being said, allow me to conclude this list by saying yeah. that your position on this list does not reflect how I feel about you personally. It does not reflect how I feel about yeah. you as a person or even as a YouTuber. I could, I could actually give less than a f about your basketball skills. I've said this in previous videos, if you are a full-time YouTuber and you can dribble the rock, salute. If you are a full-time YouTuber and you can do a layup, you are blessed in my eyes. Seriously, I know what it feels like to film for four hours and edit for six, uh, five days out of the week and go hoop on Saturday, you know, it, it doesn't feel good. So salute to everyone on the list, everyone not on the list, just to Salute to everyone. Salute to everyone maintaining a healthy balance between creating content, doing what you love to do, and at the same time, maintaining your health. That balance is very important, especially nowadays where the viewers just expect this so much from an independent producer. The, the, these YouTubers don't have a team behind them. This is not TV, but yet you still, you, you still try to please your viewers, which is commendable. I salute that. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Y'all have a blessed day. <laughs> Ah, that boy went on and on. I should have uh, should have skipped that part, but it is what it is. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, I ain't got no problem with with that list. You know what I'm saying? As far as as far as everyone goes that he put on there. The only one I said that I think that deserved to be on there's probably a couple more too, but uh Dranio was the other one that I said should have been on that list. Should have been in the top ten. Um, from what I've seen just of his videos, yeah, I would put him in there. Um and yeah, I mean y'all know how y'all y'all know me. If y'all subscribe to me, you know me, you know you know how I play, you know if I would be on there or not. Um yeah, why don't y'all go ahead and just leave in the comments below. Yes or no. Would I be on there? Yes or no? Leave it in the comments. Leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Um yeah, just look out for that live streaming, man. Uh I'll try to uh, keep everybody updated on Twitter um, of when this is going to happen. So, yeah. Anyway, like, subscribe, and share. Check y'all in the next video. See it out. Yeah. It's levels to it. You and I know. Tell them be humble. Hold up. Sit down. Be humble. Hold up. Sit down. Be humble. Hold up. Sit down.